Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion Remastered on the Steam Deck Steam OS again, okay? Because I've already done a video about this when this game came out a few days ago. I've got a video, I'll link it up here if you want to check that out. And today, what I want to check out is last time when I tried it out, I tried the built-in, all right, let's take a look at the settings. Uh, I tried the built-in FSR frame generation, okay? Uh, which is this one. FSR and then you turn on the frame generation, apply changes, and uh, it was really bad. The built-in one, I don't like it because it's um, it's not really responsive. It, it feels kind of like a little bit of input lag. Okay, so what I've done is I've added a mod, a DLSS enabler mod. I did that through a plugin called Decky. Frame gen. I've got a video showing you how to do this. It, it's, it's really quite simple. I'll also leave a link for that video if you want to try this out yourself. So I'm going to turn on DLSS. Okay, up here. DLSS. Okay. And I know, like, I know people in the comments are going to go ape shit. They're going to, like, oh, uh, it's not really DLSS. All right. So I'm a very simple person. Okay. So it says DLSS here. And yeah, that's what we're using, DLSS, okay? So uh, I'm going to turn on DLSS. And you can see, if I turn on DLSS, uh, there's no frame generation. But don't worry. Don't worry, I've got the mod on. And there's another overlay. It's called OptiScaler. So you need to press the keyboard key, Insert, okay? Which I'm just going to map one of my back grip buttons. Okay, so I'm just going to map my back grip buttons if I can I can't actually get there oh here it is okay so I'm going to map it to the insert key of my keyboard so if I press L4 if I press L4 you see that? that's the overlay okay and then because like Okay, let's be serious. It's not really DLSS, okay? Um, it, it just makes the game think we're using an NVIDIA GPU. That's why we can toggle on DLSS. And then it translates it to here. So we can change it to XEXS, upscaling, FSR, upscaling, um, FSR 2.1, 2.2, or 3.X. Okay, so we'll go with the latest one, 3.X. Apply. Okay, so now we're actually using FSR 3 upscaling. Okay, and then we can turn on frame generation here. And then you can see on the top left here, you see, see the frame time? Yeah, that means the frame generation is on. And you can see we've got more frames. All right. And so I, I want to really check out the, the input lag. Okay, you can see it's actually, it's actually really responsive now. So when I turn my analog, See how the camera follows immediately. Yeah, I don't really feel, but there is like a little bit of ghosting and the UI is flickering. Okay, so that's why there's another button here called FG HUD fix. That's the, the UI fixing. I'm going to try that. Yeah, you see now it doesn't flicker, but we do still get a little bit of ghosting around the character when we move the camera. Okay, that's just something you're going to probably have to deal with here. Okay. So we've got to follow the compass. Do you like first person or third person view? Maybe third person is a little bit better if I'm recording. I actually prefer playing this mostly first person. I think that it, you need some getting used to. If you're playing like The Witcher 3 and you and you play this, uh, you might prefer first person, a uh, third person. Can I swim? Oh, I can. Okay, swimming. Could be pretty far away. Oh, the, the, the... Okay. 
And then a lot of people ask me whether, um, like once you've got the frame gen mod on, it, it, it kind of overwrites your launch options. So let me show you. Let me show you. And like you can't add any other mods. That's one of the um, drawbacks people tell me about. Okay, so let me show you. Um, so I've actually got a mod on. I've got the mod engine installed. So I've got like DLSS enabler mod enabled and also I've got another mod engine loaded up. Okay, and this is like a cheat program if you don't know what it is. So um, I've got a video showing you how to install this if you want. Okay, this really cool trainer app. So you go here to the search and then you type the name of your game. It supports a lot of games. So Elder Scrolls. Oops. And then um, four. Oh, right, there it is. So select your game. Right here, version 1.0 currently. Okay, and then once you're here, you need to select the game process. So click on it. And then another window will pop up, which is right here, process list. Okay, mm -hmm. then we've got to select the EXE. Select it. Okay, and now we can do like infinite stamina and stuff like that. Okay, let me show you. So let me show you the game first. So you see, if I run, see the green bar at the bottom? That's my stamina, right? Depleting. So, if I go here and I could do infinite stamina. Hopefully I can get it. Zero weight. Infinite mana. Do this as well. Um, zero weight yeah i think i want zero weight so that means um you don't have to um throw your stuff out you know when you get too much stuff and then you you, you can't run yeah i think i'm gonna turn off ghost mode i don't need that at the moment okay so now you can see when i'm running there's no bar i can just run forever and then i can also cast my magic oh just keep on casting it it, it doesn't really matter So it doesn't cost magic. So yeah, this is a really, really cool trainer. Simple to use, easy to use for your Steam Deck. I've got videos showing you exactly how to do it. Make sure you check it out. I'll leave the links in the description. And yeah. So yeah, I think this mod actually helps it because before when I was running around in the open world, I was getting probably like teens, like low 20s. Now with frame generation on, we're getting like there is a little bit of stutters here and there but yeah still we're getting overall better performance and most importantly the input lag there's no input lag see how responsive that is look watch yeah it's very very responsive and also we can use trainers with this mod with the lss mod we can also add your own mods on it uh you know oblivion has a lot of mods um and i added a trainer app so yeah all this in one package very very cool Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment sections if you need any help or if there's any requests, anything like that. And make sure you just don't type. I know it's not DLSS, guys. I know I know it's not DLSS. It's just the name of the mod. It's called DLSS Enabler. Okay. Um, it tricks the game in thinking it's DLSS and then it translates it into FSR 3 or XCXS. Okay. I, I know all that. All right. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Later.